Hello, since there's no audio to this video, I figured, you know what, let's do some commentary for it. This is JD Llama, aka JD Love. Look right here at Pet Peter Pepper's positioning. That makes the peppers go left when they're above him. Just as a heads up there. Same thing with where Peter Pepper is right here. Pepper is on the same, uh, ho uh, sorry, vertical row as the egg, which will go ahead and help manipulate it. If they're in the same row or column as him, they will try to go ahead and stay in that as best as possible. That's more or less the way to exploit the game, is go ahead and try to keep in mind where they're at here. Um, now this is going to be a tedious part right here, but you'll notice, yes, hi there frame skip. You can actually walk away from the arcade machine at this point. If you keep your burger, if you keep Peter Pepper exactly right here, or here, or here, here, <laughs> you can more or less walk away here. Now, what I'm doing here, I want to go ahead and point this out. Watch the pickles, and watch these eggs that are coming up on the right now. I'm slowly but surely grouping them. The one that's most to the right, you want to go up the ladder. The one that's to the left, you want to go down the ladder. And if you watch the eggs that are on the top and bottom, they just fused into one. So, what started off as six bad guys on the screen, you now have control of five. I'm going to go ahead and send this one down right here to go ahead and start grouping them together. I made this run using save states, hence why my pepper level is at 19. Usually it's around uh, 13 or 14 at this point, I want to say. It's been a while since so I've had a serious run here. Um... The reason I want to go ahead and point out the fact that I had him running down, though, is the fact that I'm just going to go ahead and speed this. I'm going to go ahead and use two peppers when you want to use just one. Obviously, in an actual arcade machine, there is no such thing as a save state. But I figure at this point, let's go ahead and at least show you how to group them. You can go ahead and spend more time. You, you, can, you can usually take about five to ten minutes uh, just grouping them together to be literally one entity. It just tedious as all get out. So once again, I'm taking the ones that are on the most right, and I'm making them go up, on the, up the ladder. The one on the left, I want to go ahead and go down the ladder. Occasionally I'll go ahead and I'll admit it's, it's, it's really tedious here. Like I said, you just got to go ahead and wait it out here. Literally you can go ahead and get these guys together, like I said, using one pepper here. Now, one thing I want to go ahead and point out here is the fact, like I said, with pepper usage here, this level will go ahead and give you three peppers. If you're playing for points, physically, it's possible to go ahead and get one pepper only. Um, and I don't even grab that pepper here in a little bit. But, alright, this is a perfect place right here. You want to hold up. Pepper, pepper. Treat the ladder as if it's a wall in your mind, and they'll group together. They are now exactly one entity. They cannot be separated unless you are on the exact same row or column as them. And they decide to go ahead and, well, be weird. Alright, stay right here. Make them go to the right. Stay right here. Make them go to the right. These guys, like us, these guys work off of a concept I call a stair pattern here. Um, if they're not in the same row or column as you, they will try to go ahead and get there, depending on if they are moving horizontally or vertically. Uh, for example, if they're moving vertically at you, if they're coming down at you, if you're to the left of them, they'll just move to the left, regardless of if that's the fastest pattern or not to go ahead and use. That's more or less how you can go ahead and manipulate this game. Uh, this game is different from games from the 1980s like Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man, uh, where their artificial intelligences for each ghost was drastically different. You could go ahead and group them together, but uh, if you make one small mistake, they all go their separate ways. Um, there's a second pepper that just showed up there at the top with a copy coffee cup, by the way. So, the question becomes, why didn't Burger Time really take off? I mean, m now mind you, that is a game that not everyone knows, but it's not exactly as popular as Galaga, Space Invaders, things like that. I have yet to find out. If anyone has a good idea, please drop me a comment, anything. Um, I mean, the game came out, I want to say sometime in the middle of 1982. Mind you, it came out before I was born, so I have no idea officially. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see here now. Just waiting for it. There we go. Notice once again, it's all based off of location here. Good. Goes to the left. Normally, I would go ahead and run up and grab the pepper. 
but let's just go ahead and make this not quite so complicated, because I'd have him running around the entire level, more or less, if I wanted to go grab that. So, the question becomes here then, like I said, this is a game that's technically older than me. How did I get so good? I'm going to go ahead and be honest here. Back in 2000, when I was 17 years old, I saw some patterns of John Rhodes, who went ahead and it was a tournament for SniperCade.com at the time. Um, I studied the patterns, and I found the flaws in it. His patterns were great, do not get me wrong, but he had me using like two or three peppers when you can use one or none. Um, so I literally spent two years studying the intricacies of the game, and in 2002, I submitted a file to Twin Galaxies for Burger Time for 7,598,950 points. That gets me the official world record on MAME. The uh, arcade version, Brian Wagner has the world record on it. Guys, really, really nice guy, actually. If you ever get the chance to sit down, talk with him, <laughs> really, really cool guy to go ahead and sit down with. On top of that, if you go to marp.retrogames.com, you will actually see someone has a 10 million point MAME run. I never submitted it to Twin Galaxies. Frankly, I'd love to go ahead and see them do that. I'm not going to watch it. I refuse to watch anyone's patterns from here on out. Uh, but if you guys want to go ahead and uh, study, like I said, marp.retrogames.com or go to twingalaxies.com, look anything up about Burger Time, there's a lot of documentation on there too. You'll notice, by the way, with some of these pieces there towards the end that you don't even have to move um, because he's technically between ladders right now. You'll notice how there's a column to his right with a ladder and a column to his left down further with a ladder. Since he's between those, they're going to go ahead and run themselves silly. Really, really easy way to go ahead and make sure you maintain control. And there you go. Let's show off by going where the pepper should be. Boop. Do, 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 do. Wait, that's the death sound. Yay, success! Alright, hope you enjoyed it. Have yourself a good one.